so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this side and today i will be solving yet another problem of POTD series right okay so today's problem is of type medium and it is sum of nodes on the longest path from root to leaf node right as the question suggests we have been given a tree and we have been provided the root of the tree that is you have been provided with the this node that is 4 right we have to find the maximum sum on the longest path longest path as in if you can see longest path from root to leaf node so what are the leaf nodes here this is a leaf node 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 right all right now uh, what is the uh, what do we say yeah what is the longest path if you can see i can read seven in two steps that is one two right i can read six in three steps 4 to 2, 1, 2 to 1, 2, 1 to 6, 3 steps, right? I can reach 2 in 2 steps, 1, 2. I can reach 3 in 2 steps, 1, 2, right? Okay. Now, what is the longest path? You can see 3 is the longest path from a root to leaf node, right? Okay. So, I will have to give the sum on this path, that is this path. What is my sum? It is 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 6 that is 6 plus 6 plus equals to 12 plus plus 1 is 13 so my answer would be 13 now the question says suppose you have a node you have two longest path that is suppose here it is also 7 right now what is the leaf node leaf node is not this leaf node is actually this now right 7 now what is the sum of what is the longest path it is only 1 2 3 i will require three steps to reach 7 right all right now, what is the sum? It says 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7, which is 9 plus 3, 12, 12 plus 7, 19, which is greater, 19 or 13, 19 is greater. So it says return 19 is 13. That is, whenever there are two longest paths, two or more than two longest paths, in that case, return maximum sum along the path. Return maximum sum along the path so i hope you are clear with the question right now i have devised a very simple approach to you like you will be doing only the traversal technique right only the traversal will be required to you right what we will do is so let me mark the levels this is on my height zero right from root to root height zero these are on my level one these are on my level two these are on my level 3, right? Okay. Now, I am saying I will start my traversal from root. What is the height of the root? It is 0. And what nodes I have occurred? I have not occurred any nodes. So, my path is currently 0. So, my sum is also 0. Right. Okay. Now, I will keep two values outside of my function that are, let me change the ink. I will keep the maximum height. And my answer. Maximum height initialized to 0, answer initialized to 0, right? Okay, now what I will do is I came into the function. Okay, first I will check if root is null. If my root is null, what will I do? I will simply return. I will not do anything. I cannot do anything, right? Okay. Return empty. You can see return empty. That is the type of the function is void, right? Okay. Otherwise, if root is a leaf node, now suppose I have encountered a 6 that is a leaf node. What I will, what I will do is I will update my sum. This is updating my height. This is updating my sum, right? So my sum will be sum plus equals to roots data, right? After updating sum, what will I do is I will do that if my height, this height, which I am denoting by edge, is greater than maximum height up till now. Simply update your answer. Answer will become equals to this sum, which has been updated here. Sum. And my maximum height will become equals to height. Right? Okay. Otherwise, the else case states, else if, 
my m is mh equals to equals to height that is my height is equals to equals to maximum height attained up till now in that case what you have to do is you just have to update your answer as maximum because the height is already equal to so update your answer to be maximum to handle this case which i mentioned here right okay so my answer will become max of answer and sum right in all the other cases where height is less than mh then in that case simply return this was the case for my leaf note leaf note right this was the case for my leaf node but what if the uh, the element i'm encountering is a non leaf node so for non leaf node what will i do simple step is as i updated my sum here i will update my sum so my sum would be equals to root data plus the original sum right and then i will just simply solve for left and right now solve for uh, suppose this is node so nodes left now because i'm going further away because i'm going suppose i'm standing here and i'm going through seven nodes left what i'm doing is i'm increasing the height i am currently at level 1 i am going at level 2 so i will just increase it by 1 that is h plus 1 and i will send the sum here only this one this sum only and similar for right right and then return now i will tell you why i use this approach i will tell you why i use this approach and then i will discuss the dry run and then i will write the code and then i will discuss the time complexity right okay so stay tuned so i am saying the path length from any node to any node not only the leaf node but from root node to any node from 4 to 7 from 4 to 1 from 4 to 2 from 4 to 3 or any node is height difference you can see in a tree that if i suppose i don't want to go to 2 what is the path length from 4 to 2 it is 1 What is the height difference? One minus zero, one. If I want to go to seven, what is the path length? Four minus one, two. And what is the uh, height difference? Two minus zero, that is two. Right. So you can explore for any any number of nodes that the height difference is the actual path length. What I'm saying is height difference is equals to path length. and that is only i'm using as my approach here so let me draw the tree again and let me show what i'm doing right so my tree was 4 2 5 7 1 2 3 right okay i started off with my 4 as my height is equals to 0 and my sum is equals to 0 right okay my final answers for my maximum height is in starting is 0 and my answer is 0 that will keep on beating right i'm standing on 4 right now i'm seeing that 4 is not null 4 is not a leaf node so what i will do i will update my sum my sum will become 0 plus the value of root that is 4 right i'm standing here right now right okay sum equals to 0 plus 4 and then i will go to 2 so the call will be made for 2 now height will be incremented to 1 it was 0 so it it will get get to 1 and s equals to 0 that is converted to 4 so 2 1 4 this is my first call and my second call for, will be for right one that is 5 that is 2 oh sorry 5 that is a node 5 with height 1 sum as 4 right what is this sum indicating sum above it 2 is the sum of 4 indicating here is sum in this path from the root right okay 2 1 4 now the call for 214 will be initiated it will check is to my null node no is to my leaf node no so both the conditions rejected what i am checking is null leaf this is also rejected this is also rejected for 2 now 2 also has two options 7 and 1 so what will 2 do sum will be equals to 1 initially plus the value of 2 that is 3 it will change to 3 okay Two also has two options, seven and one. So it will go to seven with the height of one plus one, that is two, and sum of three. And it will go to one with the height of two and sum of three, right? These two parameters on the same level are same. You can see two and three, two and three, one and four, one and four, right? Okay, seven, two, three, right? Now seven is seven a is seven a null node? No, but seven is a leaf node. Now what is the process for leaf node? For leaf node, we will check. First, we will update our sum. So my sum will be two plus seven, that is nine. Done. Now I will check 
is my height is my height is greater than maximum height you will see that 2 is actually greater than my mh right so what you have to do is you will have to change your mh to 2 and you will have to update your answer to 3 right this was we were, this was what we were doing right and simply return so this recursion call has ended right coming to 1 2 3 okay so 1 2 3 is 1 2 3 and none node no is one a leaf node no 6 is a child right so i will go to 6 and i will go to null suppose this is connected to null right null node with the value 3 and sum as 3 and i will go to 6 with value 3 and sum as 3 right uh, then i will go to 6 and i again the same case as for 7 6 is also a leaf node but what is the mh here mh is 2 here and height is 3 here that is this height is much greater that means i will have to update my mh so my mh will become 3 right and now uh, what do we say yeah so and now mh has become 3 and my height is currently 3 and my answer is 3 right and before answer is 3 s will be equals to 6 plus 3 9 right 6 plus 3 that will be equal to 9 sorry for the confusion here right 6 plus 3 9 so it will become 9 right okay now n equals to 3 comma 3 right null node in the case of null node first condition return it will return true it will return and now this this recursion call has been done so it will return right okay so i have got my answers up till now and my 514 is left traversal of 514 so 514 has two options s will be equal to 1 plus 5 that is 6 and it will go to 2 with a height of 2 because it was 1 here and the sum of 6 and it will go to 3 with a height of 2 and a sum of 6 right okay 2 is a leaf node but 2 is actually not greater than mh mh is already 3 2 is actually not greater than mh so simply return i can do nothing right and in the last you can see my answer is 9 right my answer is 9 okay so this was my code this was my dry run right let us write the code for code really fast right okay let me make some space here right okay now my answer i initialize as zero and my max height let me name it as mh only because we studied mh only right my mh is equal to zero now what will i do is i will just return my answer but before returning my answer i will have to solve it so i will say first solve for root with current height as 0 and current sum as 0 right this was what we were doing right okay now to implement the solve function so my solve is actually not returning anything so it is a type void void solve i'm taking the node star root i'm taking my height as h only and i'm taking i'm taking my sum as let's say s right okay now if my root is equal to null in that case simply return otherwise if what is the condition for leaf node left is also not left is also null right is not also null so if my roots left is null and my roots right is null in that case what do you have to do you have to first increment your sum so sum so s equals to s plus equals to roots data now the condition is if my height is actually greater than mh no arguments my answer will change to s and my mh will change to h right and let me make it small h here for better typing right okay else if my h is equal to equals to mh in that case my answer will be maximum of existing answer and my sum right other all the case other cases return right okay otherwise if this is not a leaf node then first increment your sum so sum plus equals to roots data explore left and right so for right for left you will solve solve for roots left with h plus one and sum and similarly solve for roots right with h plus one and sum and then return to mark the ending of the function right so this should work and this will only work if you have subscribed and liked the video and this is working that thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and it will surely submit now because i hope you have subscribed to my channel if you are new here okay okay so it is working fine 
and accuracy 100% streak of 96 days currently divisible by 8 so I've got 8 bit point, bitcoins more thank you for watching and I will bring a new question to you tomorrow till then keep watching keep coding right okay thank you bye bye